Hey, fellas. Oh, been a nice, relaxing week here at Prime Auto Works headquarters. Got some cleaning in my shop done. Got a new uh, spray booth. A uh, little step up from my last one. I had the last one for, I don't know, four years, three years. And uh, it was getting nasty. I don't use it that often, but uh, I really do like this one better. I used it this morning, and, and uh, I just, I like it a lot better, so... Uh, there's an, I also got a new compressor down here. It's that posh one. I don't really know how it works because there's a, a fitting that I need to get for it that should be coming in today. So I <laughs> haven't got to use it yet. Um, but the reason for this video is I'm going to add a wire antenna to a recently completed project. So, uh, I wanted something easy to build after I built that darn Harrier. And, uh, so I pulled out one of my little uh, Tamiya 148 scale kits and decided to build this one. And I painted it up. These are all, uh, the markings are all painted on there. And uh, I painted it as a plane that was marked up for the uh, Operation Torch back in 1942 when they went into North Africa. So I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, I'm going to put this one up for sale on eBay. I'll probably list it later today. But what I want to do now is I want to add a uh, wire antenna with Easy Line. And I don't think I've done a video on uh, something like this before. And Easy Line's kind of one of those things, if you've never used it before for, for rigging, it is rather finicky. So uh, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to add a wire antenna to it, and I hope you enjoy the video. So if you've never used Easy Line or you've never heard of it, it's an elastic type ribbon, and I say ribbon because it is flat, that you can use for rigging or wire antennas. Now, I've got uh, some heavy stuff here and then the fine stuff. If I were to only get one Easy Line, if I, if I were to order it, I would only get the fine. It, it looks, uh, I think the heavy's too much. I don't know if there's a medium size or not. There might be, but uh, this works in my opinion, well for uh, anywhere from 132nd down to 148, 172, I would guess. But uh, I really like this stuff. It is rather finicky to deal with, but once you get used to it, it uh, it's, it's pretty invaluable. So what I want to do is I want to create an antenna, a wire antenna that goes from this point to this point and then also down here. So what I've done is I've cut a section that's oversized and I've added a little bit of brass tubing. I threaded the uh, both ends through a little piece of brass tubing down here. So the brass tubing that I'm using is, let's see, it's got an inner diameter of 0.4 millimeters and an outer diameter of 0.6. So it's really small. And it was a real trick trying to get both ends threaded through there at the same time. Uh, if you're new to modeling, I would recommend getting various sizes of brass tubing, aluminum tubing. Uh, I've got a ton of it, and I use it all the time. So let's uh, go ahead and cut it. And how I cut my brass tubing is I take a sharp X-Acto blade, and I find the length that I want. I just put my X-Acto blade down there, and then I start rolling it back and forth. And it'll cut right through it. Okay. I think I want a piece a little bit longer than that. There we go. And I do have a little bit of burr on here. So I'm going to take my, my God Hand tweezers. Somebody recommended these to me. Uh, I got them off Amazon for like, oh, I don't know, how much was that? 35 bucks, and it does seem rather expensive for tweezers. But, oh my gosh, they are worth it. So, God Hand Tweezers. If you don't have them, and you're looking for a good set of tweezers, these really work well. So they got a darn burr on here. Could have got a cleaner cut, but oh well. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is... I've got some medium viscosity CA glue and uh, some accelerator here. And what I'm going to do, you don't want to use thin CA because what happens is this thin CA seems to crawl along the, uh, the, the easy line and uh, makes it do funny things. So how I'm doing this is I'm just taking my glue looper, 
And I'm going to put some CA right on the end of this little post here. And now I'll take my, my little loop And I'm just going to do this little number. Let's see a little much. Perfect. This is going to be tricky to do on video. I've never done this on video, and there's probably a reason why. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this down. Now you don't want to pull this too taut, but... Okay. So let's get my other piece. My other little... piece of brass tubing with my super awesome god hand ah darn it my super awesome god hand tweezers I cut a bunch of these little pieces that I didn't want oh, that's for my work and I don't know if the thing's gonna pick that up but <laughs> it's got a real tiny hole so let's try to thread this through Like threading a needle. Okay, now I'm just going to let that hang. So now what I want to do is I want to take my... Take some glue. Stick it on here. And I'm going to pull it taut, but I'm not going to like overstretch it. All right, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other side. And because this comes down here, I think what I'll do is I'm going to have to have eight hands for this. I'm going to take my glue. Find out where I want it. I think that's right about there. And I'm just gonna put a little glue. Ah, darn it! I need eight hands. Well, that worked. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little bit more of a bump there because there's supposed to be some kind of a a little. A little piece right here where this thing's supposed to stick into. So let's find the end of it. And I'm just going to create a little something down here that I can paint. All right. Now I'm just going to take my sh a sharp X-Acto blade. Let's get a new one because I used that one to cut my brass tubing. I'm just going to come in here and cut this easy line right at the end. Okay. And then I can... Let's see if we can get a better view. I'm just going to pull this just a little bit. I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and cut it off right there. Now, I'll get my little brass piece down here. And I can put a dab of super glue on the easy line. And then move my brass piece right on the super glue. And maybe put it in a little bit right there. 
and that should hold it and I'll do the same right here and it should be good to go now once this dries what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll paint this this should be dry because I used stuff on it so let's take some uh, we'll use light gray put a little bit on the papier yeah I want a little bit lighter than that let's go with this I don't typically use silver for stuff like this it just doesn't look right in my opinion okay and I can just take a toothpick and come in here I want the light stuff and then I can just make a dot just like that and that's gonna represent that little thingamabob now there is a little bit of sheen where some of the super CA glue um, is showing so probably what I'll do is once a little paint dries uh, I'll come along and take some flat uh, clear coat that I used on the model and just dab a little bit in there to get rid of that sheen I can also paint these little things I don't even know what they are a little uh, my little brass tubing uh, I'll have to check and see what color they are and I can come in there and just brush some paint on that but uh, that's all there is to it now um, I'll flash up some pictures once I get this painted but uh, basically that's how I add a wire antenna to my models pretty simple uh, like I said it's a little bit finicky but once you get used to it you can do it just as easy as that so I will flash up some pictures, and like I said, this is going to be, uh, I am going to put this up for sale on eBay. I start all my auctions off at a dollar, so somebody might get lucky and get this for a dollar plus shipping, so who knows. But uh, all right, uh, catch you on the next video.